I'm a senior vocal performance major at Wright State University. I have wanted to sing my entire life. I used to sing Disney songs in the back of my car and my mom would catch me vacuuming the house and I'd be making up my own tunes. A few of my inspirations have been my sister. She influenced me tremendously. She played the piano from a very young age and of course I want to be just like her because she's awesome. So then I started taking lessons when I was about five and I took piano lessons for about 10 years, which at the time I didn't realize would greatly benefit me in the future, but it certainly has in my ability to learn music and understand it. Then my mother, of course, was a very great inspiration. We always had Handel's Messiah playing in the house. So I had all those great oratorios that I could pull from and that I already knew when I started learning them. Phantom of the Opera, who hasn't been influenced by that really? That was always playing in my house to the point where my older sister and I could sing the entire thing, both CDs back to back, word for word, and we would often compete to see if we could do that. My best friend, as I grew up, he gave me for my birthday one year, I think I was about 13 or 14, he gave me Sarah Brightman's Classics CD and I fell asleep to that every night. I loved listening to her because she was very creative and she wasn't quite hooty like a typical opera singer. Which leads me to musical theater. I love opera and I love singing classically, but I also really, really love musical theater. Kristen Chenoweth, as I grew up. She has been a tremendous inspiration. She was classically trained, but she was also um, very famous, as we know, in Broadway and musical theater. She has a beautiful sound on her high notes, but she's really into the acting and she's just adorable. Um, I took three years of voice lessons from a classically trained teacher that is now currently working in a musical, musical theater department. So she was really influential in helping me transition from opera to musical theater and being able to do both. So today, you're going to see me perform Glitter and Be Gay, as well as Even Though from the musical I Love You Because, and hopefully you'll see the difference between the two and how one person can do both.
I didn't even 
Well, I hope you enjoyed those two pieces and were able to hear how one person can maybe do both styles. A lot of teachers will tell you, um, really, you should only focus on one or the other and get really, really good at it. And while that's true in many cases, there are some people that can do both. Now, if you're one of those people that may be better at one or the other, um, and I tend to be better at classical, um, then you know you realize that and you focus on that more. But you know who's to say you can't sing what you want when you want, as long as you're in your car or your bedroom. And it's always better to learn many techniques and use them later in life. I have gained so much experience from transitioning between both styles.